Welcome to week 11, Bible Studies for Life. Today we're continuing in this section talking about our neighbors, the people that live around us, the people whose paths we cross, the people that we work with, we go to school with, um, people that we see out in the store, um, who, who those people are. You know who they are. You should know some names, right? People come to mind. You think about who they are. Uh, how do we treat them? How do we live with them? And some great stuff today. So before we dive into the, uh, Romans chapter 12, be sure and like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you've got uh, people you want to share it with, share it with them. Please do that. We're continuing to grow our channel. Headed to 800 now. Past 700 on to 800 subscribers. So let's dive into Romans chapter 12. Uh, it says, let love be without hypocrisy, detest evil, cling to what is good, love one another deeply as brothers and sisters, outdo one another in showing honor, do not lack diligence and zeal, be fervent in the spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in affliction, be persistent in prayer. Man, Paul just lays some things out throughout this whole passage we're going to look at. You know, there are some times in, in Paul's writings where he lists sins, you know, the ways that we act in rebellion. It's always interesting to me when we look at those lists that we'll look at some and go, oh yeah, there's a lot of people do that one. Oh, that's a terrible one right there. Oh, that's a terrible one. But somewhere in that list, probably multiple times, he hits me. He hits you. You know, we, we see other people in that list and then suddenly we'll see ourselves in that list. We see all these terrible things and then he'll put something else that we think is not so bad and it's listed right after that really terrible thing, you know. But this is like the reverse of that. You know, you look at this list and, and you might think, oh, well, I'd do that. And then at some point you go, oh, well, I haven't done that. And I haven't done that. And I haven't done that. You know, there's the don't commit sin, but there is the do good, do the right thing. And boy, that is certainly what Paul is talking about in this passage. Do the right thing. Let love be without hypocrisy, not fake, right? Not showing, not pretending. If it has hypocrisy, just it's not love, right? You can't, you can't love hypocritically. It's not love. You can pretend to love hypocritically, right? Detest evil and cling to the good. The two sides of it, right? Hate the sin, but but love that which is good. Do the right thing. Love one another deeply as brothers and sisters. Outdo one another in showing honor, honoring one another. Now, this passage is really pointed inside the church. He's talking to how believers treat one another and this word, one or this phrase, one another and one another is really one of those words that speaks to, those phrases it speaks to within the body of believers, right? How we should treat one another. And then here he says brothers and sisters. So again, we see this idea of being inside the body to outdo one another in showing honor. Boy, there's a selflessness here. There's, there's not a place for proud for a proud person, the, the pride has to set itself aside. There has to be humility and a desire to, uh, to elevate others, right? Don't lack diligence and zeal, but be fervent in the spirit. I love this this whole section here that's talking about um, how sometimes we can get a Christian burnout, you know? You can just burn out. And, and part of this part right here is to help people avoid this part down here, where we lose, lose some of our zeal, where where we lose some of our enthusiasm for the gospel, enthusiasm. Ever had that where you just kind of lose your enthusiasm for church? I, I don't feel like it. I don't want to go. Part of this it gets healed when we act in this way towards one another. Now, let me just say this, okay? Sometimes this part gets helped if other people will act this way towards us right? If other people are loving us genuinely, if they're, if they're honoring us, if they're trying to help us, if they want our best, then that helps us, right? But let me say this too. Sometimes this gets healed by us acting this way. If we will love other people selflessly, if we will try to honor them above ourselves, it will help us if we feel a lack of zeal or a lack of fervency. So, so you know, being selfless feeds a spiritual um, uh, vitality, a spiritual enthusiasm, okay? Be fervent in the spirit. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. It's not about serving one another. It's serving the Lord. You do that and you serve one another. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Be persistent in prayer. And then he says, share with the saints in their needs. Pursue hospitality. Bless those who persecute Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. This is the uh, doing life together thing. We live life together. So if people are hurting, we help them. 
There'll be a time later when we'll be hurting and they'll help us, right? We're, we're hospitable to one another. We welcome people. We're friendly. We, we aren't um, seeking to vengeance. And we're going to talk about vengeance in a little bit. So we'll get to that part later, right? Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who are weeping. That is, we're living life together. And, and we have to get involved in the messiness of life to do that. Uh, you know, I, th- I think that we have reached a point in our culture uh, here in America where we, where we can become very um, isolated. <clears throat> we just kind of have our family. We just kind of do our thing and we keep to ourselves and we don't really do a lot of mixing with other people. You know, we, we do it, we go and see them and then we just come back and we get in our little cocoon. And, and there, is a, there is a community nature to life um, and and especially to the church that needs to be um, voluntarily <laughs> given to. We must voluntarily give ourselves to one another to rejoice with their rejoicing and weep with their weeping, to get involved in the messiness of life. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. But don't hang out with proud people. <laughs> Hang out with the humble people. This You want to live in harmony? You can't be proud and live in harmony with other people. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Give careful thought to do what is honorable in everyone's eyes. If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Okay. There's a lot in here. We, we're not going to spend time to go through all of it. But certainly, this idea of humility leads to harmony. All right? This humility is not being wise in your own estimation. He's not saying don't be wise. He's saying don't think you know it all. Don't think you have all the answers. Uh, Realize that other people have some wisdom that is not yours. Um, This is one of the the principles behind the freedom of speech, uh, actually. The idea that that, um, I need to hear other people speak because there are things that they know and things they can share with me that I need to know. And they need to hear me speak because there are things that I can say and that I contribute that they need to know too, right? So we need to hear from one another. This when you're wise in your own estimation, I don't need to hear what they have to say. I already know how to do it, right? Do not repay evil for evil. Again, we'll talk about vengeance in a minute. Give careful thought to do what is honorable in everyone's eyes. To try to be honorable. Be a person of integrity. To do what is right. Okay, I'm not doing what makes other people happy. I'm doing what is honorable, what is what is accepted to, and understood to be. That's an honorable way to do it. Sometimes there's not an easy answer. Sometimes there's not a good answer. Sometimes it's just, this is what I have to do because this is the only way to do it. Now, verse 18 is probably one of my favorite verses because I think this is so important for us. If you haven't memorized verse 18, chapter 12 of Romans, you need to do that because this is a, an important verse Uh, for life okay if possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone he does not say live at peace with everyone he says if it's possible as far as it depends on you you live at peace with everyone you do everything you can to live at peace with other people now some people are not going to allow peace to exist they're not going to allow you to live at peace with them. They're always going to stir it up. They're not going to forgive. They're not, they're not going to ask forgiveness. They're not going to, to live humbly. They're going to be proud. So you do what you can. As far as it depends on you, you live at peace with other people. Friends, do not avenge yourselves. Instead, leave room for God's wrath because it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. Okay. This, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. And then, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Here, do not avenge yourselves. Leave room for God's wrath because it's written, vengeance belongs to me, I will repay. The Lord says, I will take that vengeance. I will take care of that. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For in doing so, you will be heaping fiery coals on his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Here is your response to the evil that others do to you is to be kind, be generous, be loving towards them. Don't don't take out your vengeance. You don't have to. The Lord will take care of that. And you know what may happen is that they may be one to the Lord. 
and, and they may come and ask forgiveness. They may not. But here's what you do. You take up your responsibility in this, okay? Hey, I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, just really subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Be sure and like the video. Um, be sure and share it. Comment, questions, thoughts about any of this. We appreciate it. Love all of that. We'll see you next time.